Welcome back to Driven Productions, everyone. My name is Adam. So I wanted to talk about my experience with my 2016 Model S P100D. Now I've had this vehicle for just about two years. Bought it with mid 20,000 miles and now it's got just over 60,000 miles. It's like 60,380 miles as it sits. This car is uh, sold. It is uh, sold today. The guy's actually getting ready to come right now to pick it up with his girlfriend. And I just wanted to share my experiences because I think I'm gonna help you out if you're looking to buy one of these. Now, first and foremost, guys, this has been the most reliable vehicle I have ever owned. In fact, there has been zero, let me say that again, zero maintenance issues that have cost me any money out of pocket. Everything that's gone wrong with this car, and there's virtually nothing, has been covered by Tesla. Um, I also wanted to say real quick that, you know, I've reviewed the new Plaid, I've driven the new Plaid recently, in fact, and I will tell you, I still like the look of the Model S P100D better than the new, the new S Plaid. Reason being, I just think this looks a lot sexier. Now, my particular car should have chrome trim all throughout here, right? This particular one has, of course, the matte black or the satin black trim that I've had professionally done. So this is all done. Door knobs are done. Door handles, these pop out, right? You can see here, all down here is done. That's a lot of work. It was not that cheap, a couple thousand bucks. But the guy did a great job. It took him a while to do it too. So I just think these cars look really good, so exotic. I mean, the P100Ds are the exotic cars for Tesla. You can see here the carbon fiber. Overall, I just really like the way they look. One of the things that the new plaids have gotten way better at is panel gaps. Now, one of the things I wanted to make you conscious of is you see this line right here, and then if you come over here, you see it right here, how that side is a little bit wider than this side. So this car looks like it's been in an accident, but it's not. It's got zero issues, never been in an accident. And so the overall build quality on the new ones are definitely superior. But outside of just the front trunk and this right here, this car's build quality has been really good. A little bit of rattling on the inside, but overall pretty good. I mean, better than some of the other 16 P100Ds I've definitely seen, or just 90Ds or whatever, right? But in general, this car was such a Goldilocks car. Let me tell you exactly why it was a Goldilocks car, okay? So this has FSD has at full FSD capability. It has the upgraded cameras. I've actually had Tesla come out with the tech and install all the upgraded cameras. This also has the upgraded technology package that was $1,500 that I had Tesla install. And this has Napa leather. Now these Napa leather seats, this is the same type of material you're gonna find in a BMW of the world. This is not something you can get in a 17 or up. They went to the vegan leather, but best part about the car is this has a sunroof, guys. This sunroof comes up and it goes all the way out. It's more of a moonroof. It's actually equivalent to those old 911 Targas, actually, as far as how much it extends out. You do that all through the screen. This is the very last year that you could get Napa leather and the sunroof and very rare that you get both of those with FSD. So most of these cars either were non-FSD, just autopilot enhanced, and then you got those two upgrades. So very, very rare that this one had it all. Now, why am I selling this? Well, if you guys follow me at all, I just got the new Model X P1, uh, not even P100D, I got the new Model X long range, and I just don't need three Teslas in the fleet. So I've decided for the time being to keep my Model X P100D and then sell the Model S P100D, mostly because I bought this car for about $70,000 directly from Tesla. I've got an $818 payment. I put about $15,000, $20,000 down, taxes and all that. And I'm now selling it for only $41,000. I was trying to get forty five dollars for the car, but the car market right now is in terrible shape. Interest rates are high. This guy just happened to have cash. You know, we had a handshake at 43, then he came back at 40, and then we're like, fine, 41, I'm just giving it away. But, you know, I don't have to have that monthly payment. I don't have to pay the $120, $130 a month for insurance. So I get that $1,000 back in my pocket eventually every month, and, you know, I'll just call it a loss. But overall, guys, love this car. If you can get one of these for $40,000, God dang it, go for it. It's this mo it's a screaming buy. It's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Let me be straight with you guys. This car car has caused me no issues, goes 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds, had full self-driving where it's worked incredibly well, very little phantom braking, okay? Comfortable as all get out, great sound system, great technology. You can 
stream Hulu, you got all the benefits of all the new cars, right? If you're not familiar with these cars, you have plenty of space in the back here because there's no transmission tunnel, so you can get three people. And if you really want to go crazy and you want to go ahead and lay those seats down, you've got a trunk that is a full on crossover. These seats lay down and you've got all that space. And then you've got all the space here and then you've got all the space in the front too. So talk about the ultimate Costco hauler. So very, very, very few cars, guys, are gonna allow you to go zero to 60 in the low twos and give you this type of practicality. It's absolutely insane. Honestly, I'm over here trying to tuck myself into not selling this damn car because for $40,000, it's almost like just keep it, right? I mean, where are you gonna get this type of looks? Now, the crazy part about the Model S is they really haven't restyled it. So. The reality is driving this thing around pretty much looks like you're driving a new plaid. It still gets the eyeballs. It still gets the attention just because it's the P100D. It's got the 21 turbine wheels. It's got the red calipers, right? It's just a sexy looking car. I mean, this design is what, 12, 13 years old, 14 years old now, and it still looks as good as ever. There's just something about that, that line right there, right? That just really looks good. There's no bad angles on this car. From the rear, I think it looks even better than the front. But reality is there's just no bad lines. So my point of this video is to say that these are screaming buys right now. There's just no doubt about it. Everybody's scared of these EVs, right? Everybody's thinking they're gonna fall apart. And the reality is zero issues, not a single issue on this car that's cost me any money. So I know some guys have these door handles on the, uh, uh, some guys have charging issues, some guys had battery issues, but by the time they got to the 16 P100D, I guess they solved them at least you know, at least I didn't have any. Now, the one thing I do want to make sure I'm clear about is these wheels are very easy to curb. You can see here, my beautiful and lovely wife did curb a wheel and you're going to chew through some tires pretty darn fast, especially if you're going to put this thing in ludicrous mode and give it the juice, right? Because it, it just smokes guys. I mean, this thing has so much torque. I think it has a thousand pounds of torque. It's absolutely ridiculous, but uh, 760 horsepower is what I think it has. So supercar territory all day long but you are gonna chew through some tires. So you can go into the screen, you can put it in chill mode, but keep in mind, you go ahead and use this car as it was intended, you're probably gonna get 10,000 miles out of a set of tires. On to the inside of the car, if you're not familiar with the inside, again, you've got the incredible sunroof here. Very easy to get in car, very, you know, comfortable car. I'm six feet tall, I've got plenty of headroom right. This is Alcantara, Alcantara up through here. This had the premium package, right? This has the carbon fiber inlay with the white and the silver here. This actually looks like a really good premium interior. One of the rare Teslas from an interior point of view that actually looks really good. I love how the white translates over to the door here, carries through this design language and then back over. Just a really good looking car from the inside. In fact, it's probably one of the only Teslas I actually really liked the way they designed the interior. Everything else to me, Model 3, Model Y, even the X, well, the X is very similar to this, but frankly, they all just look very Spartan. Now, heat's worked great. Streaming features work great. This particular car did not come with premium connectivity, so we ended up paying for that. Again, autopilot. This has had FSD transferred to my new Model X. If you watch that video, I'll put a link to it right now. So we actually got that $12,000 credit to our new vehicle as part of an incentive that Tesla did in 2023, but this still has amazing autopilot, works fantastic. Of course, the person can go over here, select upgrades, and literally just buy it right here for $199 a month, or they can just go ahead and buy the thing outright, or they can buy premium connectivity, right? So you've got different options. If the new owner wants to, he can just pay 200 bucks a month, and you can go ahead and have all of the FSD capabilities that this car can give you. Uh, again, you have the ability here to use the theater. You have heated steering wheel. Those had the cold weather package. Literally, this had every option. You have bio defense mode right here, which is a really fun little feature that the new owner will love. I use bio defense mode all the time. You know, for example, if I'm going through like some tarred area where they're paving fresh roads or, you know, driving through Texas through like, you know, areas that have a lot of, you know, cows or pigs or chickens or whatever, and it stinks, that works so well. Um, beyond that, guys, like the theater mode, Disney, Netflix, all that stuff streams amazing, you know, plays through the whole screen here. You just got to log in. It's such a cool feature when you're actually on the, uh, the road trips of the world. You know, the overall screen is just so responsive. There's not a screen on the, on the planet that's better than this currently in my personal opinion you know if you want to go to like let's say los angeles like i was i was demonstrating to the new owner or the potential new owner here if he picks it up here in an hour this right here will calculate almost in real time your entire trip 
you know, utilizing all of the different features of the uh, supercharger network does it almost in real time. I mean, this is literally off of LTE network. It's not even Wi-Fi. Look at that. All calculated to a T. Let's go. There's over 50,000 chargers now. It's just incredible. Yeah, you're going to have a lot longer than gas station stops, but you know, you're still driving a couple hours each time. You're going to take a break. You're going to go take a piss, right? You're going to have something to eat, etc. So in the end of the day, it's really not as bad as people think. And uh, I, I think it's just a wonderful car. Range on this car, guys, let me just tell you right now, it's reading 237 right now. It's about probably 82%, 83% battery. It's been really good. I mean, they're low 300 from the factory, and this battery is probably degraded maybe 12 to 14 percent. Not bad for 60,000 miles. Again, no issues with the battery, no issues with the motors, no issues with electronics it, at all. You know, I mean, really, this might be the best car I've ever owned from a mechanical point of view. I can't think of another car that I've owned that has had zero problems, right? So, just just wonderful um you know again you've got the ability here to do sentry mode on this car and this thing right here will actually record it for you as you can see and uh you know it's just it's just very very well done a very very good car and i i got nothing but positive things to say about it so if you want to go ahead and buy a used 2016 or 17 or whatever p100d you know or I think they ended in, in 16. I think they went to the long range plus, but, or, or the, you know, the dual motor or whatever. But I think this is the screaming buy right now with interest rates. This guy is going to get a great car at a very, very fair price. I bet if I held on to this car for six months with interest rates dropping, I could probably get closer to 45 or 50 for the car. So I could probably drive the car for free. But again, I just don't want to have three Teslas. I'm not really using this car at that much. I'm just going to use the X. You know, the X has like 90,000 miles on it. So it's like, do I sell that one or do I sell this one? I just decided to sell this one because the X is under 500 bucks a month. So it just made more financial sense. Plus, I really like my X. That car has just been like, you know, such a great family vehicle. But overall, guys, like I... I just, I have nothing but positive things to say about this car. It drives so good. It just feels like, you know, the ultimate sports car. It really does. Like it, it is better than the BMW M5 in so many ways. The battery pack is really low and it just drives like such an exotic car. It's so fast. It's absolutely ridiculous. It just drives so good, guys. Like I can't tell you how good the torque vectoring is in the model s and really in all the teslas frankly but it's not necessarily in the specs it's literally in how this car puts the power down it just does things that no other internal combustion car will do period like if you go ahead and give this thing full throttle in the rain this thing will absolutely put the power to the ground without without really any traction issues and it's all through the technology and the smoothness that the power is able to be put down through the electric motors. Internal combustion cars just can't do that. The only, excuse me, the only manufacturer that is close to doing it is really Porsche. They're the only ones that has the technology with the PDK and the flat six and the smoothness of all that gearbox and power plant that it can do it. But really this car for all intents and purposes in real world driving will smoke a GT2 RS to about 90 miles an hour. After that, the 2 RS is gonna walk it hard. But the new Plaid, of course, as you guys know, will smoke a 2 RS all the way to like 180. Let's do this. Oh my God, that's so <laughs> flipping insane. Woo! That car is just absolutely ridiculous. But I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, this is not my standard full review. It's raining today, obviously, but I wanted to shoot this as like a, you know, 50,000 mile later kind of update because I bought this car, I think, with under 20,000 miles. So I put about 50,000 miles on it. This has really been my wife's daily driver. She's loved this car. I love watching her drive this car. She, you know, my wife's, I mean, in my eyes, one of the most beautiful women I've ever met. And she just looks so hot driving this thing around and she loved it. And so from that point of view, yeah, we lost money. You know, I didn't, I mean, again, <laughs> you know, the funny part about it it is I could have sold this car for probably $65,000, $70,000, which is almost what I paid 
during the craziness, right, of just, you know, the COVID years with all the low interest rates. And I actually had it listed for sale with my dealer partner, Direct Auto. And of course, they went out of business. And that that was just ridiculous. We're about to start a lawsuit with those guys. It's just been the most frustrating process of my life. But, you know, and I also lost a, an incredibly good friend uh, in the process, you know, because he's just a complete tool. But overall, guys, like this, this car has just held its value very well up until very recently, frankly. Uh, something happened with all these EVs, right? They had a little bit of a backlash. You know, Elon Musk opened up his mouth on Twitter, etc. And here we are. You know, now now we've got uh, interest rates at eight and a half percent. You know, nine ten percent for used cars, etc. I mean, even if you go to Tesla right now, buy a new car, you're at six and a half percent. So, very very expensive now to kind of buy, you know, finance money. So for the guy who's coming today that pretty much has cash, like heck, he's he's just getting a screaming deal, and uh, he he knows that. I mean, you know, he's he, he understands that now is a buying market, and he's taking advantage of it. So good for him. He's smart. He'll probably be able to drive this car for five or twenty, you know, ten thousand miles, and maybe lose five, ten, fifteen grand at most. You know, this was a hundred and sixty one thousand dollar vehicle so kudos to you my man uh but overall guys i hope that was helpful if you have any questions about the car or anything that you want me to cover you know in the comments by all means but i just i just can't praise this car enough the sound system the technology the self-driving the performance the range the fun factor of driving it, the quietness, just all of the, it just checked every box. And I really wish that, you know, I, I, I guess, I don't know, maybe I should be selling the X and, and keeping this car. Um, but we have two kids. And so it just made more sense to have two family cars, right? Cause I have an X and then she has an X. And so for our family, it made a little more sense to have this, you know, sports car, which yeah, we had, we had car seats in the back here for a while and it works, but you know, you can't beat the X for the family hauler. So that's it for me guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the content feel free to drop a comment please like share it with a friend if you like my content in general check out all the other reviews i've got gosh probably 180 reviews on the channel at this point all kinds of enthusiast cars plenty of tesla as well check out my ev playlist if you're interested in other vehicles and that is it for me i appreciate you guys watching you don't get to see me today but uh trust me you ain't missing anything there and i'll catch you on the next one